Okay, we're back everybody. Here we are with my bird point case. Uh, it took 70 broken ones to spell bird points. Uh, this little guy right here in the middle is my one and only bead. I uh, dug this up in that cave, all that brown stuff come from. Uh, and it was actually in a different hole that that stuff come from. It was kind of around the corner. It was actually in a hole my buddy Rusty started, and he dug in it for about an hour, didn't find nothing. And I was digging in another hole next to him, and he said, well, he said, I'm going to go dig in front. And I said, well, can I dig in that hole? He's like, I don't care. So I jumped in there in three swipes. This popped out, and never could find nothing else there. But we never did finish digging it either. And there's no telling why he digs what he missed. He probably through the other half of them out in a little bitty spring that runs through it and this here is my one bird point I got tattooed right there uh, it's a really cool little guy purple stripe goes all the way up that side got a little bit of crook to the tip but she's a really sweet scorn and uh, then this one here really another nice scalorn. It's from a lake side of mine though that I hunt in the winter time when they drop the lake down. And it usually takes quite a few rains before you start finding any bird points. But this guy here is just awesome. I mean it's perfectly symmetrical. You talk about bird point that's worth some money. This guy's it. I wouldn't if I was to ever sell this I wouldn't take no less than two fifty for it and that's not two dollars and fifty cents either <laughs> uh this here's another nice scorn i found it this year out of my gasconade field but it's got a little neck off the ear right there but still a really sweet one uh this over here this is my first madison i ever found this guy's really really cool super super thin and he's uh, translucent through it. Where's my little light at? Uh, I had it out last night using a net in the garden. Oh, here it is. Yeah, you got to see this real quick. Uh, but, yeah, see that thing there. He's fully translucent. Pretty cool. Uh, I got a couple other ones in here that are translucent bird points. I think this one here had a... A lot of translucent material in it. And then uh, there's a couple little pink ones in here somewhere. That's all translucent, I was thinking. Is it this one right here? Yeah, this little guy here. And uh, let's see, this one here would have been my very, very last bird point I found back in the early spring. Uh, Let's see the other really nice ones, this drill right here, and this little red one right here, even though it's missing the tip, it's got that red inside with the pink outline of like another bird point. It's really cool, but it actually has a real impact break. This one was probably shot and stuck in something, and this little drill, it's got a little bit of nick right there, but boy is it still really cool. And uh, a lot of these, I used to only have about 60-some bird points broken in whole ones until a couple years ago here when the Gasconade River got up and ate my field. It took all the loose dirt and bird points and took them to the end and throwed them out. And my buddy Rusty and his wife picked up the first 40 off the ground, but then I found quite a few off the ground, but then I started juging through the ground my little stick and just scratching about an inch deep and just popping them out. I think it popped out like 20 or something one day and then 30 the next and then I'd come back with a bird uh, screen and a, and a shovel and a bucket and started screening and found a whole bunch. So I went from like having 60 with 30 whole ones and 30 broken ones to having 180. But I've lost about 30 of them because I've traded for all my tattoos or whatever. And, uh, oh, this is the very first one I've ever dug up. It was in that cave I dug all that brown stuff up in. Uh, and then uh, 
let's see I mean there's just some really awesome ones in here look how thin this guy is it's like paper thin made from a flake of course uh, and I got some other little drill bit ends like that there uh, let's see this one this one and this one here these are the other three bird points I have tattooed on my arm this one here it's red and purple and this one here is just a really awesome scalorn and so is this one it's got a little nick off the base but uh, it's got this little bitty blue bullseye on there which is really cool uh, and I just love bird points I mean they they're, they ain't worth very much especially little broken ones but I got quite a few other Madisons uh, a lot of these down here, some really broken ones, but not as bad as them. Some of these up here have been some awesome ones. Like this eye and the bird, that was an Odina. Uh, this here's a, a little fossil I uh, found when I was sifting through all those at the end of the field. And uh, I'd say at one time it was probably all there, and they probably used it for something. Uh let's see this here's another little cool Madison it's really 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 so damn thin and this was uh, the last bird point found well now it was after that one because that was from uh, an Iberia field and this one here was from one of my Gasconade fields that's a really really pretty guy awesome material that Gasconade River just has awesome material on it but uh, I hunt a little bit of a lot of Miller County, some of Pulaski County. Well, and this one here, this is a really cool scalorn. It's got a distal tip on it. I mean, a little bitty extra tip on there that's extra pokey. And, uh, well, that's my bird point collection. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it there. Well close-up view around yeah I had to spell bird points <laughs> too many broken ones I mean there's a lot of different cool ones in there bird points are one of my favorites actually they're all my favorites <laughs> I love everything about arrowheads, anything to do with arrowheads, and everything. Well, thank you. See you right soon with, uh, I think, the Utley case.